My love affair with the neck band continues. LG has been a bit quiet lately, but then BAM! Three new models of Tone neckbands get released, and I've been spending a couple days with the LG Tone Flex HBS XL7 Bluetooth earbuds. Just rolls right off the tongue. Simple, lightweight. This design is LG's hallmark, discreet with retractable cables. It's familiar and I dig it. From my last set of tones, these are sleeker and tidier. The earbuds retract better under the neckband casing. The button layout is simpler. The neckband is both bendier and feels more durable. It's a nice double win there. And we finally have a USB-C charge port. It's a single driver design touting multi-metal and plastic layers to help carve up the EQ spectrum. And now LG is including Meridian on their accessory escapades, a partnership working really well for them on their recent LG Quad DAC phones. Now Bluetooth 5, but it seems AAC is the only codec on tap, which is just odd considering LG was the first Android manufacturer to properly support aptX and LDAC on their phones. Still solid connection, very good range. Battery life has been solid. LG claims eight hours on a charge, and I got pretty close to that over two days of casual listening and several episodes of Breaking Bad I'm trying to catch up for El Camino. The fast charging is really quick. LG only says 10 minutes plugged in will get you three hours of runtime, but I went from a low battery warning to fully charged in well under an hour. It's not hard today finding true wireless batteries that can hang with a neckband, a few which can outperform them, but you also don't need to keep a case around when you're not using them, you just drape them around your neck. They're, they're out of your way. They don't take up any space in a pocket or a purse. Though for this generation of cable retracting, it's a bit stiffer than previous tones that I've used. They pull out great uh, tight little clicks, but they often get stuck about halfway when you're trying to retract them back in. You gotta give them a little, so like a little twist and then they'll pop all the way back in. Lastly, for the techie bits, I really like LG's implementation of Google Assistant support. A lots of earbuds and headphones can long press and activate your phone's assistant. The Tone Flex have a vibration motor to back up your alerts. When you get a notification chime, you can hit the assistant button to have the alert read to you. And it's really easy to reply or long press to start a new action. That dedicated button makes me more likely to use an assistant and there are a lot of interactions that work well over audio. So that's all well and fine for the techie stuff and the convenience stuff, but these are earbuds, so how do they sound? Out of the box, a little clumsy. I really like seeing this Meridian label. And LG is talking up the onboard 32-bit DAC, supposedly upscaling your music. But for this big talk, the tuning felt off on my first listen. First, this multi-layer tech is competing well against some of the dual driver options in this portable wireless audio space. Not quite as robust, but these things have respectable range. Mids are full, the lower mids are rich, and there's a nice saturation to the sub bass full without completely stomping on detail. And if you've seen any of my other headphone reviews, here's where I would normally complain about how sensitive I am to highs, but for once, I was a little disappointed. I hate it when pop tracks get shrill, but I really wanted more sparkle on those first test listens. And I thought this might be a limitation of the single driver. Maybe you can only push this driver so far through the EQ range, maybe compromises were made. But then I tweaked the EQ a bit and these things woke up. Just a little nudge at 16K, a solid peak at 8K, and another small bump at 4K. And there was all the color and crystal I was lacking. I'm usually the guy who tries to leave the EQ alone and talk about how the manufacturer's tuning might appeal to different demographics. It's just, I really liked how these headphones reacted to that bump in the upper mids and highs. But that's enough rambling from me. Let's wrap this up. Where's that leave us with the LG Toneflex HBS XL7? All right, neckbands are a slightly older fashion design in maybe the most competitive arena for Bluetooth earbuds. I still prefer neckbands to True Wireless, but True Wireless has gotten a lot better recently. At this price tier, just getting into a more premium market segment, the Toneflex Shame AirPods for sound quality are better for your ears, help make your assistant a little more useful and won't be as easy to lose. Against more legit competition, it's a different list of pros and cons. It's not better or worse, 
but what features and tuning you prefer. Say against OnePlus's multi-drivers. OnePlus has a sharper response in the mids, but the tone can deliver a fuller low end. Having to tweak the EQ for the highs might sound like a deal breaker, but the one more triple drivers can sound muddier by comparison and they benefit from a similar lift in the highs. The XL7 do the gig and they do the gig well. So don't write off the neck band. They still have a lot to offer folks for audio quality and for real life convenience. I'll leave some links in the description down below where you can find more info on this new line of LG Tone earbuds. As always, thanks so much for watching, for sharing these videos and subscribing to this channel. More than just nerding out on popular accessories, we want to make sure folks know about options which might fit them better or for options that might sound better to them. And if you'd like to help support the production of those conversations, there are links below, or you could consider joining the list of names scrolling by on your screen. A growing community of fun, like-minded tech pals, a huge resource for me producing reviews and editorials. They're good people. I hope you'll check them out. Now, you know where you can find me around the rest of the internet at some gadget guy on the Twitters and the Twitch and the Facebooks and the Instagrams. And I will catch you all on the next review.